Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. The Pioneer is with another tutorial on electrical AutoCAD. This is the second tutorial. You can find the link in the description for the first tutorial. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for new updates. Today we are going to talk about the ribbon menu and the help menu which are the essential components of the electrical AutoCAD. Let's begin the tutorial now. Ribbon menu. Ribbon menu is located at the top of the working or drawing space. You can see the ribbon menu. I am hovering the cursor above it. Ribbon menu is workflow based. So it is designed around the tools needed to make the work or project time effective. It contains of several tabs like home manage project schematic panel reports and many more when you click on the each tab set of tools are changed you can see home manage the set of tools below the tab are changed ribbon menu is quite useful because most of the tool names are displayed along with the icons. You can see line tool along with its icon, polyline, circle and many more tools. You can hover over an icon to display its name and function like this. Move tool. This is move tool. I hover it over the icon and I got the tool tips displayed. Based on the versions of AutoCAD installed, there may be different tools in AutoCAD. Whichever AutoCAD software you will install, the first tab is Home tab. As you can see, I have Home tab as the first in my ribbon menu. The other tools from the project to conversion tool. Here, manage project, project to conversion tool are the electrical AutoCAD tools. The Home tab contains standard AutoCAD tools. The other tools from project to conversion tools are related to AutoCAD electrical I have already said and the rest tools or tabs are related to Autodex product whichever is installed in your computer. AutoCAD electrical tab shows different tools that you use. In the project tab, let me show you the project tab, you will find the tools to manage folders, drawings, files that are related to a project. We will discuss about the project tool later in the tutorials. So be updated with the channel. Schematic tab. Let me click the tab and you can see the tools which enables you to add the components to your drawing space. Schematic tab is divided into distinct panels. You can see Insert component, edit component, circuit clipboard, insert wires and wire number, edit wire or wire number. These are the distinct panels. Insert component panel. Here is the insert component panel. If you click the drop down menu in the insert component panel, you will see more icons here. This will expand and show you the more icons that are related to the insert component. You can insert the tools that are needed for your drawing from this insert component panel. You can expand the edit component tools to look for the additional tool. You can see the drop down in individual commands too. Let me click the icon menu. Here are icon menu, catalog browser, user defined list, equipment list, panel list, terminal panel list. There are six components when the icon menu is drop down. If you click on the catalog browser, I clicked the catalog browser, the icon is changed in the panel tab and the other panels are also changed. Let me close this. This appeared because I changed the icon menu to catalog catalog browser. Let me 
change it to icon menu which is default this is also called as the icon menu other components are also changed when you change the icon in this icon menu now if you hover above any command in the electrical autocad you will see the tooltip let me hover over the wire now i can see the tooltip and if i hover it for longer time i will see a detailed information about the wire command you can minimize the ribbon tab you can minimize this ribbon tab this is quite too large and the working space is quite small you can minimize this ribbon menu to increase the size of the working space to minimize the ribbon tab you can click here the minimize button which is on the right side of the tab you can drop down this also here you can see minimize to tabs minimize to panel titles minimize to panel buttons you can also toggle from here so full ribbon now you will see full ribbon clicking here you will get minimize to panel buttons again clicking here you will get the so full tab or ribbon another important item is workspace toggle which is located at the status bar at the bottom of the workspace here in the bottom you can see a working space switching this is the workspace toggle button when you expand this you will see acad and 2d drafting and annotation which is default it contains all autocad electrical features and common autocad features the second one is acad and acad and 3d modeling uh, for 3d features of electrical autocad third one is 2d drafting and annotation which is also called the autocad electrical classic which will not be available for longer and 3d modeling contains the 3d related panels and items tools that are not used in 3d will not be displayed if you select the 3d modeling workspace you can switch the workspace if you like from this workspace toggle button and acad and 2d drafting and annotation is the default workspace to work Electrical AutoCAD provides an online help system to find information about features and functions. To access help, you can click help button in the info center toolbar. This is info center toolbar. You can click here to access the help. If no command is active, it opens the help homepage. Let me click here. A help dialog box is appeared and this is the home page of help dialog it's loading quite slow because of my internet you can search a keyword let me type line command here is the line command there are various different topics that are related to line if we click on the line command a detailed information about the line command will be displayed like this you can get the enough information about the line command by reading this text displayed this is the home page the another way to get help is to hover over any of the command here i hover over wire and i can see the information in the bottom press f1 for more help if i press f1 then the help home tab or home window will be opened you can search like i previously done and get the information about any command or the keyword you wanted again if i click the wire the wire command is enabled and if i like to get help about the wire command i will press f1 button and you will see the command wire here the wire command information is presented directly in the help window the help tool searches online help which is default in electrical autocad you can change the online help by using the option dialog right click on the working space oh sorry the command was activated right click on the working space without any command you can find option here or you can drop down the application menu and click the options button from the option dialog you can drop down the application menu and click the options button 
from the option dialog select system tab and then in the help you can deselect the access online content when available checkbox and then click ok for now i will not change my online help access this is all about the icon menu the ribbon menu and the help tab that are very useful in electrical autocad for more videos like share and subscribe the channel and do not forget to click the bell icon thank you